Welcome to Deadly Dames and it's time for the VHS collection video part 2. Um, I actually thought I'd done this for some weird reason and then I was going through some of the videos and realised I'd actually only put up part 1. Uh, and there should be 3 parts or, oh sorry, 4 parts because there's 4 shelves full. Um, so yeah, we'll get on with part 2. So over here we've got the Star Trek first 5 films collection. now. Funny story about this is I actually found this in a, a charity shop and I sound I'm going to sound like a bad person saying this but I spied it in a charity shop and I, although I like Star Trek I'm not the world's biggest fan of Star Trek so I, I've not actually seen a lot of the films. I've seen Wrath of uh, Cain or Can, I'm not sure how you pronounce it and some of the more recent ones and when I seen this box set I kind of thought it was really cheap, I think it was £2 or something like that to get all five. It's a pretty cool box set. And I thought, oh, this is a perfect opportunity for me to, to watch the, the other five like first films. But there was like a wee kid looking at them at the same time. And he basically like wandered away for two seconds and I nicked the box set before he could get it. So I do, I do feel a little bit bad that I kind of stole this box set from my child. But you snooze, you lose. Um, next to that is uh, Octagon, which is an old um, release from... Oh god, what were they called? What was it called? Canon. From Canon, yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Canon that released this, actually. Or maybe it wasn't. I thought it was on the Canon video update thing, but it's a Chuck Norris movie anyway, so maybe that's why I'm mixing it up with Canon. Um, I love the old artwork in these, these VHSs, so... And then... Let's see if I can move without wiggling you about too much. Then I've got Monsters, which... I remember stealing this from... My parents when I was younger because my dad had this in a collection to watch it and I remember being really scared of it and then I seen it on sale online like a few months ago and I thought I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this up and pick up monsters on VHS for blast for the past and I watched the first one with Linda Blair <laughs> it's really not scary but it was fun watching it again and then uh, the amazing time bandits the Entity, which I've still to watch. I got that not that long ago. This was one of the VHSs that when I was a kid, I'd always see the cover and think, I want to see this film. But, you know, no parent is, is going to pick this up for a child. I mean, that that's a sex scene right there. And I know from reading the back of this movie that it's not a willing sex scene, but um, no parent was going to pick that up for a kid. Reanimator, Two Evil Eyes, Hills of Eyes Part 2, that's the original one, not very good. My Science Project. I love this film. This is probably one of the most watched VHSs that I had as a kid. Inferno, Lost Boys, um, My Bloody Valentine. I actually didn't own this when I was younger. I bought it because it was a pre-credit VHS. I bought it maybe, I don't know, about six, seven months ago. Uh, and I, I thought, well, if it's pre-credit, it might actually have all the scenes that were cut out of My Bloody Valentine back in it. Um, I was wrong, there was actually more cut out of this than there is a DVD. I would love, love a release of My Bloody Valentine with all the parts that were cut out put back in. Poltergeist, which actually still has, Let's see if I can get it out. It's sticking to My Bloody Valentine, come on Poltergeist. It still has, Let's see if I can open this, the postcards with it. So, you can see, still got them all. Very proud of that. Poltergeist is probably one of my favourite sort of haunted house ghost stories. I'm actually not a ghost story fan. I prefer kind of, not made up, that's not the word I'm looking for, but more kind of fantasy horror and stuff that could maybe actually be real. Um, but... I just don't really believe in ghosts, but I love Poltergeist. Uh, City of the Living Dead, Crow, I really need to get that on DVD. Highway to Hell. This again is probably another overwatched VHS of ours. I don't know why. I did watch it again as an adult and I, <laughs> I have no idea why we loved Highway to Hell so much, but we did. Uh, Hellraiser 2. I don't have Hellraiser 1 on VHS, I don't think. Uh, Teen Witch, another completely overwit overwitched? No. Teen Witch, overwatched VHS, we loved it, um, she doesn't learn anything if you watch it as an adult, she does not learn anything in this movie whatsoever, but yeah, I loved it. To Catch a Killer, again, funny story behind this one, Claire kept going on about this movie, about John Wayne Gacy, 
that she'd seen when she was younger. She kept talking about it. She kept saying it was a really long film. It was really good. Um, we tried to find it on eBay on DVD. It was extortion. It was like forty pounds to buy, and we were like, "No way, we're not buying that." And then we walked into a charity shop, and there it was for twenty pence on VHS. So we picked it up. One spitting the amazing Waxworks, which is probably another completely overwatched VHS that we own. And then up the top above that we've got The Boy You Could Fly, another Overwatch VHS. Fantastic Four. Now I've hung on to this because this was a like a cartoon that we watched so much when we were children. And then I picked this one not up not that long ago in a VHS set in a charity shop, sorry. Uh, Magic Castle. I kinda like these big squashy boxes. I like saving them when I like that. Captain America's another cartoon that was overwatched, along with Elvira, <clears throat> a movie which we've seen I don't know how many times. The Amazing War of the Roses and uh, Taste of Hemlock, which was the most recent VHS I picked up because this was a movie that I always used to see in the shops and that face scared me. Um, I've not watched it yet. I need to really, really watch it though. So we just need to go to what's behind these ones. So give me two wee seconds. I might need to sit you down for a second. Just to get some of these off the shelf. Excuse me, this room is very dry. This is where my, my lizards and frogs are. So it's a very hot room. Right, so up behind them we've got Twice Dead, um, Birds of Prey, Techno Sapiens, and what's that, Bound Trip? Heaven? I don't even know what that is. I think these were ones that I got in a like a a bulk buy deal. Uh, another twenty four hours. Ruskies. The Pope of the Greenwich Village. Oh my! Life Pod. Tequila Sunrise. Upworld. There is a movie which I absolutely adore. Why has there not been a decent release of it? Uh, the Great Land of the Small, which is funny because that was always a movie that. I remember seeing on a taped VHS and I remember like wanting it so badly and looking for it online and it was extortionate and it turned out my sister actually had this and then I watched it again and thought why, why did I want this movie so much? It is really strange. It's actually the same can be said for Dance Party next to it. I had this taped on VHS from the TV and I actually never seen the end of it because you know what it's like when you had long play and short play and if you tape something in short play, you never got the end of or the beginning. You had to sacrifice a bit of the film. Well, in this case, we sacrificed the end. And getting to see the whole film, I thought, man, why did I love this movie so much? But, ah, it's nostalgic still having it. Uh, Jake Speed, Kickboxer Kid, Red Sun Rising, The Time Guardian, Jim Kahaka. I don't know what that says, sideways. Um The Invisible Pole Fighters, Survival Game... Street Soldiers, Outside the Law, Crash and Burn, can't read that from here, Captain Yankee, Captain Yankee and the Jungle Raiders, I think that says, God my eyesight's awful, Pump Up the Volumes, another movie that really needs a good, decent release, again, not much happens in Pump Up the Volume, but for some reason I just really like the film. Uh, I've got this. It's funny you can get the soundtrack, but you can't get that on Blu-ray or DVD. Uh, Count Ducula, who didn't grow up loving Count Ducula, Rabid Grannies, Beastmaster Two, can't get that on DVD either. Not in the UK anyway. Lady Dragon, Lion Strike, Wanted Dead or Alive, The Weekend at Bernie's Two. Someone please put that in DVD. Carrot Blanca, which is just funny. It's a Bugs Bunny movie. Um, La Bamba, which I'm so, so happy that Eureka Master of Cinemas have announced they're going to be releasing. Um, I might just have time to get some of the above shelf in. Or will I do it in a video 3? I'll just leave it for video 3. Might as well put it all in at the one time. But yeah, that's um, everything on VHS shelf 2. A lot of these movies mean so much to me because they're films that I literally watched on repeat as a child. And I love them, especially if you go back to some of my old videos and see the story about how I got them back from when I was stupid and got rid of them. Um, you'll see why they mean so much to me. 
But as always, um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave them below. And please like and subscribe. Take care.